Okay, so now let's take a look at the question number seven. So automatically display the value of each transaction in either the credit or the debit column. So we need to look at the transaction. If it is credit, it will be displayed in the credit column. If it is debit, it will be displayed in the debit column. So now there is nothing in the credit and the debit. So now we can see that there is a C means credit. So whatever calculation is there, it has to be displayed in the credit and if, it, if the transaction is D, then it will be displayed in the debit column. Okay. So let's go back again and then is stronger in cents. So we have to display in cents. So 10, 100 cents is a dollar we know. So I have to divide by 100. So let's take a look what should be the formula here. So in when you credit, so we write here if I5, so this is the I5, if I5 is equal to C, then we calculate the value that is we divide J5, so we divide J5 by 100, otherwise we leave it blank. So means if it is not C, then we don't do any calculation, it will be just blank. So, if I5 equal to C, just we divide that value, J5, the value of J5 by 100, okay. So, copy, I will just copy this and we will paste it here and we get the value. So, that will be 42.51. So, all the transaction which has the credit C, we will see a value over here. And for the debit, okay. for the debit we have, have to write again similarly like this. So we have to just change C to D. So we can copy this and then paste it here, but we have to change C to D. So again we drag and copy C to D. So all the values of debit will will be seen here now. So that, this is how we calculate the credit and the debit. So take a look again. So if I5 equal to C, if the value is C, then we will calculate J5 dividing by 100. Otherwise, it will be blank. So this is the meaning of this if statement. Okay. So similarly for D, debit, we just change from C to D. Okay. So, this is done. Now, take a look at number 8. So, replace the text A and B with appropriate dates, apply appropriate formatting to your spreadsheet. So, we have to select a date. So, what should be the date? If you look into the information here, so there is nothing here between A and B. So, we need to find out the date. So, what is the start date here? The start date is 14th of January and then until when? 14th of January until 19th of January. So we just have to replace this by the date. 14th of January. Uh, 2018 until 19th of January. 2018. So, this is what we need to do for this question number 8. So, again save your spreadsheet. So, you save it properly and then next. So, again we don't have to worry about this because we are writing question and we don't have this kind of questions anymore for the practical. So, that's it. Let's stop.